Kia ora guys, Bird here. Welcome to episode 15 of Thomcraft 5. We're standing outside of something that I built off camera between this episode and the last episode. I'm calling this the Golemancer's Workshop. Uh, essentially it just has our, I even forget what this thing's called now. What was it called? The Golem Press, I think it was? It's in here. Yeah, the Golem Press. So this is this uh, four block, kind of five block, I guess, uh, multi-block structure thing that uh, it was added. Uh, to Thumbcraft that allows sort of incorporates this kind of new sort of crafting system for golems completely different from what we had in TC4 and we were messing around with this in the last episode getting clockwork mines and brass gears going very awesome stuff now today what we're going to do though is focus a little bit more on one of the other aspects of golems here the control seals so we already got the control seal in the last video which basically allows you to uh, pick things up and put, drop them off in an inventory. So it's got to be one of the most uh, useful things here in the thingy, majobily. <laughs> it's going to be definitely going to be one of the most common, I reckon. But there's another one here that we can already pick up. The Control Seal Store, putting away your mess. And this is a purchasable for three XP levels. So let's go ahead and pick that up. And we unlocked this guy, the Empty Seal. Okay. So this one says that this seal needs to be placed on the side of a container and it will designate the container as a possible destination for any items that golems nearby happen to be holding. Oh, okay, so it won't drop them off in the nearby inventory. A, a golem with the collect will pick it up, but it has to be on here, okay. As long as the container can accept it, the golem will deliver the item. You can filter out certain items using a white or blacklist. That's pretty sweet. So that takes a ver seal. That'll be the first time that aspect's been used. What actually is has a Versio inside it? That's the renamed um, Telum, I believe it is. Was before. Okay, that's just mostly in swords. Okay, so stone swords is going to be a fairly easy way to get that. Look at all those control cells with it. Bows and arrows, another good way to get it. Strength potions, yeah. Oh, it looks like there's some kind of... Ooh, some really red looking sword right there, probably a crimson sword or something. That'd be fun to see if we can track down one of these days. All right, so that's that guy out of the way. Uh, next up, let's see if we can get this one here, the control seal empty. I bet I can see where this is going. <laughs> We're going to need to go all the way along here. So for three XP levels, we can pick that one up. There's you go. So that didn't actually unlock anything new, but that did reveal that there's an arrow right here. We're apparently missing the required research for the provide seal, but let's read about the empty seal. This seal is effectively the opposite of the store seal. It will empty items from the inventory it's attached to. Oh, that's cool. Any nearby golems will simply take the items and hold. Right. You need to use other seals to give them instructions as to what they need to do with the items they have taken. You can filter a specific item to remove or exclude from removal. Okay, so that one requires Wakwas Essentia. And you need these blank seals. I haven't actually made any of these ahead of time here, have I? No, I'll need to make a couple of those. And I think we'll just go ahead and pick up the guard seal here. This is the last one that we can apparently unlock right now. So that's a forbidden knowledge. We're going to need some scribing tools and paper. So let's head inside uh, this area here. And let's see... Get our scrubbing tools and paper out. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what am I doing? Let's get that research note. Very blue looking there. That's going to be Praimunio, if I had to guess. There it is. Got some Umanos, Cognitio, and Tulu. Um, no, Aversio. <laughs> I, was ju I just went over that. Well, let's see if we can get started with this. I think we'll start over here with some Wiktus, maybe. Might be the best plan. That uses Speritus over there. Uh, yeah, okay, a lot of these actually have the common... Wow, all of these actually require Speritus to make, that's interesting. Well, this guy's obviously going to have to be Terra, because that's a nice easy one to do with that. I think we'll just put some Ingies here, that can be a nice little connector to something. Not sure yet. Uh, this guy, Paraditio, maybe. I think we'll do weak Weaktus over here, though. Get these two. Put weak Weaktus down. Alright. And then this one over here... I'm thinking uh, Speritus, actually, so we're going to need actually some more Wiktus. We're also going to need some Death, like that, I believe, is the recipe for Speritus. You'll throw some Speritus right there. Now, that require that can go into Exanimes. Oh, no, uh, Mortus. Exanimes isn't in this one anymore. Uh, Mortus. Yeah, that was going to be this guy. Like that. 
So I was thinking of putting Peridithio here and then connecting these two uh, via Jalum, uh, which requires uh, that to craft. There you go. So that's uh, this along here connected up. But it's going to be pretty tricky, I think, to uh, work along the rest of this here. Perhaps we no, we can't use anything else because we're already using that. Uh, there must be something else that connects to weak tooth that we can use here. I'm thinking Bestia might be the best thing. Uh, yeah, we've got Bestia right there, so we can use uh, Maltus and then Ignis and Pedramaltatio. That's quite a long-winded way, though. But that is a way. And then over here, it's going to be a little bit harder, I think. Let's just have a quick look. Okay, I think we'll use uh, Wittreyus to go over to Ayr, because we have Ignis over here. So we can do something like uh, Lux to connect to Ayr. I'll put some Ayr over here. And then we can bring some Terra down to make a bit of wheat trails. So that's this guy hooked back in. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to do something along the lines of Bestia here, which was weak Tus and Maltus. So we've got some weak Tus, get ourselves some Maltus as well. Put these two in, get ourselves some Bestia. Um, yeah, we don't have the most amount of space to play with. So I think what we'll do is put that there. Then I'll just work backwards from the Peridithio, put down the Penamotatio, Ordo, and finally some Motus. And there we go. Well, that's one aspect used of each type, and that gets this research unlocked. Very cool. This is a forbidden knowledge. It is mostly harmless, so we're not going to pick up that much. Oh, the flavor text is protect and serve on there. Oh dear, that forbidden knowledge sound. Gold star for us. What does the guard focus have to say? Focus, he says. <laughs> when placed, the seal will protect and area, er, an area from intrusion. Any hostile creatures it detects will be targeted by nearby combat-capable golems and attacked. If the golem has the deft property, any creature slain will drop XP orbs. Oh, that is cool. I can make like an XP farm or something out of that. This research also unlocks additional golem paths. Oh, that's sweet. So that's, we got ourselves an aggression module, okay, made with glass panes, blaze powder, brass, oh man, so much brass is going to need need to be needed, and the control cell guard is made with a Velcio and Premonio right there. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I think what we need to do, guys, is just take a couple of minutes here off camera to prepare some, uh, some of these uh, control seals. I don't have any magic tallow lying around, and I don't think I have very much knee taller either, but we can make it work. I'll get some, myself some blank seals, and we'll see if we can actually get some work going with our golems. Welcome back, folks. We're now in the nether. I've just been here off camera uh, using the crucible and getting up a bunch of the magic tallow here, just getting a decent stockpile. Uh, now I should just need to come over to the workbench here and prepare, uh, craft some of these uh, guys here, but that's not going to work because it probably <laughs> requires us to actually uh, do that in an arcane workbench. So let's head back to the overworld. It should be the middle of the night or daytime, I guess. Zombie Rombie. Oh, I guess you guys haven't actually seen yet. I managed to get an enchantment on my sword here. It has repair too, but it also has. Bane of Arthropods, and Knockback as well. Bane of Arthropods are not the greatest vanilla in charm, and it only works on spiders and silverfish, making it almost completely useless. But anyway, let's get back inside here. Uh, we need to get three of these dudes in here. I already prepared these materials, and the oh, there was something else. What was the other thing? I've forgotten the recipe now. Uh, Neetor, that's why. Where's my Neetor? Right there. It was in my inventory. Somebody saw it. Alright, so we're going to need a little bit of East Juice, so we get those, that's nine of those. That's going to be plenty for us uh, starting off here uh, with Golems. Perhaps we'll just do a quick uh, scan job uh, with the old thermometer. have a look. No, nothing new there, that's going to suck. Alright, so that's those guys, but we actually need to take these back into the nether uh, to, say, to save our flux sort of situation there. Okay, you can you can just chill out there, dude. Yeah, that's That's cool. You, do, you just do your thing, gold zombie dude. <laughs> Hop on back over, there we go. So let's see, the first one that I'd like to make here is the collect guy, and that requires four desiderium in there with a blank seal. Now, I've got four gold coins here, which have only desiderium, so that's going to be nice and efficient. 
Let's kind of just get up nice and close. Throw those in. There you go. That's the control seal collect out of the way. We'll just go ahead and scan that with the thermometer as well. Uh, nothing new there. Not too surprising. And th so that's basically going to allow us to our golems to pick stuff up, but that doesn't actually allow them to do anything with it. So I just want to get this uh, store guy as well, which is made with a Verd CO as well. So I get up here. I've got some arrows right here, which have just a Verd CO inside. Uh, let's see, Control Q to drop all those at once, and that gets the store seal. Very nice. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and quickly stand, scan this as well. You should just get into the habit of scanning anything new that you make in the mod. You never know when something is going to have uh, what you need. So these guys are done and dusted. They're pretty much ready to go, I think. I'm not exactly sure uh, how to use them. As long as you hold a golem or another seal or a golem answers bell. Right, so we're going to need the golem answers bell is important here. So uh, back to the overworld. <laughs> Let's get back over there. Hello. I keep coming out the wrong side of this thing every time. Every time. Let's just quickly turn the uh, uh, the sounds back on. I had the portal off there for video convenience as well. And my Golomancer's bell is in here. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I actually have some chests on the side here. I'd like to store some of those uh, precursor items that the chests need in here, which would be fairly handy. Okay, so I've got our one golem, dude. I'd like to try automating my uh, little wheat farm here, but... Uh, we don't really have a decent spot in the middle here, so I think I'll just try and get started by uh, sticking the collect seal. I guess I need... let me just quickly grab a chest as well before I uh, get... Oh, oh, get started with this. Uh, now the way that you pick these things up, I discovered by the way, you have to right click on them with your wand. Man, that's actually really loud for me. Just give me a quick sec. Okay, I don't know if that affected how loud I was in comparison to the video. If that did, I apologize. Uh, let's see, so I needed a chest as I recall. Don't right click with your golem out. Uh, pro tip. That's a pro tip from the bird. Let's see, uh, we need a little bit of wood here. I've actually got wood on me for just this purpose. So I need to get those. I want to make a chest basically, just to get a little container going for this little experiment. Even though I pressed 5 on the number pad, it still went to the number 1 for some reason. Uh, let's just get the chest right there, and then I think what I want to do is put my uh, collect seal here. Okay, so that's gonna, just going to stick that on there, and I can't see it unless I've got a uh -huh, Golomancer's bell out, I see. So, right, how exactly do I use this thing exactly? Let's see. Now, here we go. The bell will be an important tool as you'll use it to fine-tune your settings with parameters. Okay. Right, so it looks like all I'm, it doesn't really say it, but it kind of implies, if I right click, there we go. So that shows the area, I see, east, west, three, north, south, one. Uh huh. It's not, it's not quite, uh, oh my goodness, this looks pretty, it looks like a cool UI, but that doesn't, it doesn't feel very intuitive. I don't know, like this, so north, south, what way is north? That's this way. That's only going to be one block. We want to actually want to... What's the biggest range we can do? Eight? So I guess we'll uh, we'll make that as big as we can. Right. Okay, so that's the east-west area up. Then we've got filter over here. So you can whitelist uh, our wheat if we want. Okay, we might want to do that. Priority locking. Task priority. All golems can perform these tasks. You own the seal, I guess. So this is for multiplayer. All golems can perform these tasks. Let's go. Only golems owned by seal owner can perform these tasks. Well, that's actually really interesting. You could have some kind of Rube Goldberg machine on a multiplayer server, I imagine, doing all this stuff, task priority. So you can set that all the way up to 5 and minus 5, I do remember that. And it defaults at 0, and requirements... They're, they're, okay, there's no required traits, but the forbidden one's clumsy. No manual dexterity. Cannot perform tasks require more than the most basic kind of interaction. Counters and countered by deft. Right, so this is the opposite of deft. Okay, there's kind of an interesting mechanic here with the traits. Uh, perhaps it'll come more into play as we uh, play further here with golems, but that seems to be this uh, first seal set up and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick this little golem buddy down here. Now, the way that these things should work 
is that uh, if I just go ahead and break something, okay, he just goes ahead and picks that up. Okay, so that that that's all good and well. That works. Now what he needs to do is actually store it, and I think all I have to do is uh, right click that there, and that. Okay, there we go. That's uh, that's working. <laughs> Let's go ahead and right click that. Okay, you can set the whitelist up. Uh, priority locking. Yeah, so pretty much the same thing here. Uh, it doesn't allow clumsy dudes to work. What was the other one here? That's the size. Okay, I think in the teaser video it hasn't all released. It's like a nice little glowy thing. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's these two seals up and running. Let's just, uh, let's just wreck this guy's day, shall we? What am I doing? <laughs> oh, by the way, I started getting some potatoes and carrots going. I might actually just, uh, kind of preserve some here, just in case things go a little bit crazy. <laughs> go to it, my friend. Go to it. Uh, does he have, like, a capacity? Like, how many items can he pick up of anyone's stack? Oh, he had a question mark over his head, didn't he, there, guys? Yeah. There's like little sparks. I guess that's him sort of going, I have a job to do. Okay, yeah, there's like, uh, it's kind of like, almost like it's debugging uh, sort of tools right there for when your systems do go crazy. And they will go crazy. <laughs> they are going to go crazy. And he probably will pick up that torch as well because we haven't got him whitelisted yet. Yeah, that is uh, that is a really nice system there. Now all we need is a way to basically replant all of these seeds. Um, if we head back here in the Thormanomicon, I believe this is the Harvest Focus here? Yeah. We don't know the required research for this guy yet, unfortunately. So if you guys know what the uh, research for that is below in the comments, it'd be really nice because then we'd be able to automate our farm here only using one golem which is really nice i was about to go ahead off camera there as well and prepare a second golem but then i remembered oh wait the seals are different now one golem can do two jobs anyway guys i think that's a pretty good point uh, to wrap this episode up <laughs> hope that you guys enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching kia kaha and i'll see you in the next one